Hey, this is Rob Casey, 6TYD. A project I want to start is portable backup power. I went with the ammo box case, and that's because I had one um, available. Let me show you it. Okay, I picked this ammo box uh, or ammo case up online, thinking I was going to use it for a go box for a, a portable radio system, but I never got around to it. This is for a 25 millimeter 30 cartridge rounds. It opens on the top and the bottom and is made of a polycarbonate or a plastic material, so it's a little lighter than all metal. You can open the top here and you can see that it uh, opens up. It also opens up from the bottom, and there's quite a lot of space in the uh, in the container. This surface area here, um, which will be perfect to mount some uh, power outlets, um, uh, one of which will be a USB cigarette lighter, Anderson power pole, and banana jack. Now, the neat thing about this project is I am going to uh, power it by solar, so I'm going to also have a solar charger. So let's get started. I'm going to start making some modifications to the, uh, the case. Okay, I saved all the time here on all the drilling and cutting and got right to the uh, juicy stuff here. On this particular side of the go box there wasn't that center little seam so it turned out it would be a nice spot on this side. Here's the ports for the uh, power outputs there, the small holes for the banana jack, enter some power poles, my two switches and then the charge controller will go here. And then this over here is the port where I'll have uh, the power coming in from the uh, solar panel there. Okay, gave it a new paint job, used a flat black, and then went with a green around the panels here, because we're going green, right? All right, now all I need to do is start uh, putting all the uh, ports and switches and the charge controller in place, and then doing all the internal wiring. Okay, I've got some of the front components in place. Um, some of it's already permanent, some of it's just temporary until I get everything situated. So uh, the black and green turned out kind of kind of nice there. Uh, some things here in the back were mostly spade connectors, such as you know these items here going to the USB or cigarette lighter. But the Anderson power pole, the power jack from the solar, and some other items had to be soldered, so I've already done that. I've kind of just strung everything through um, to get all the wire sizes correctly, and then eventually I'll trim them up and so they all look clean later and not a big rat's nest, so we'll just keep doing that. All right, the battery box is done, painted. Let's check it out. I went with a green to contrast with the control panel. So let's take a look at all the features now that it's all done. Over here we have the solar controller. I have two switches. Here's the electrical panel. I have cigarette lighter here, USB here, and a voltmeter here. I have some banana jack uh, add-ons. I don't know if I would do that again, but hey, it worked and Anderson power pole. All right, I wanted to be able to tell the voltage without turning everything on, so I gave it its own switch. And there we go. I don't know if you can see that in the glare here. It's 12.4. And this what turns the internal battery on. You can see that the battery light turns on. It has its own load switch, and I'm actually using the load out to load all these so I can turn them off independently. To give you an idea here, I have a little LED light, USB LED light. Let's see if we can fire that up. There we go. I don't know if you can see that. I also have a little t Anderson power pole test here. Let's see if you can see that in the light here. If I put this in here, there we go. That light is on. All right, here's our solar panel right here. What I did was on the side of the box, you'll see a jack, and uh, the solar uh, just plugs right into here like that and charges the bad boy up. That is my ammo box. Cool little portable power. It's got a total of uh, 16 amp hours, two little batteries, got on sale from Radio Shack Liquidation, and uh, I don't know, it's kind of... Kind of nifty, and we'll see how it works. Thanks for watching.